Are you wondering how to set up and use filtering in Smartsheet? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be walking through this functionality, how you can set it up and how you can use it when you're working in Smartsheet. So first and foremost, I've just created a brand new sheet. I've put it in a filter tutorial folder and this is essentially just dummy data. So if I click here, so you'll see we've got a lot of different data here and that's important before you set up filters for it to be able to work. Now, you'll notice that there's no option to filter if you kind of right click on the column, perhaps that's what you're used to in Excel or some other um, software. So in Smartsheet, the way you need to filter is by using the filter button at the top. Now you might have seen it. Um, now the idea in Smartsheet is that when you create a filter, you basically apply it and disable it when you do and don't need it. So the first thing you need to do is to create a filter. So if you hover over this button here, press and left click on your mouse, then you give your filter a name. So I'm just gonna call it filter as an example. So filter one, let's call it filter one, but you wanna give this something a little bit more descriptive. So it's what you, what you know, you, you'll, when you, you'll know when to select it and what you kind of need it for. So actually I'm gonna change that. Bad example, I'm gonna put in security here. So let's put in security, if I can spell correctly. So this filter is gonna be, what I'm gonna do in a, in a moment is I want all of the security feature types to basically appear within my filter. So here we need to set the conditions. So as I say, we want to see all of the security rows. So select field, so this is gonna be the feature type. Now you have various options here. You can have one particular um, criteria or you can have mul um, or multiple. So I want just one. So I'm gonna put um, contains and I would put security in here. Probably not the easiest way of doing it actually is one of, uh, we just want it to be security and hit apply. So only the security rows are visible. So as you'll see here, and then to disable it, you would just go filter off and you'll get back to where you are to start with. So just bear that in mind. Once you create filters, you need to turn them off to re you know return to the original data. Um, and you can delete um, your filters by clicking on that little drop down on the right hand side and deleting using the trash icon. At the same time, you can also clone, which is really, really useful if you wanted to create something very, very similar or if you've got something quite complex and you don't want to set it up from scratch again, or you can alter it, alter it or edit it. So you'd click the little pencil icon. Now let's change this to account management, apply, and only the um, account management um, rows are going to appear. Now, of course, you'd need to update the the filter name because security is obviously misleading in that example. Let's delete this off. Now, other ways to use filters are, you doesn't have, it doesn't just have to be text. So for instance, we might want to show only rows that are checked. So in this case, we've got a hot column. So let's call this hot. And we would select the hot column in the criteria. So if it's checked, we want it to show. Hit apply. There you go. All, all the tasks that are hot are going to apply here. So if I turn it off, filter off, let's just check several of these just to show you what it looks like. And press this button, you'll see that all of those are now appearing. So that's essentially how you set up filters. You can have several at a time, you can turn them on or off, but that's essentially how it works. Now, I hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit the like button. That tells me to carry on making videos like this and do consider subscribing if you use Smartsheet and you want to see more videos on, on, on training or any other features or functionality of the tool. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.